I just passed 10,000 subscribers, so I decided to do something special. Well, hello there, it's me, American Bowhead. Today I'm coming at you with a little bit of a different uh, video than I normally have. Spent over $200 on some brand new motors. Now this is really special for me because I'm cheap and I usually get my trolling motors used from pawn shops and Craigslist and I've even been given a couple of them. But I really want some nice new ones for this latest project I'm on, which I'll show you briefly at the end of this video. And the upcoming video after this will be all about it. So uh, let's go. Got here is a 30 pound thrust, one of two. These are the best bang for the buck in my opinion. 30 pound thrust is mostly all you need for most occasions. It's only $109. Never seen what these look like coming out of the box. Really want an excuse to use my unboxing knife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this I'm already noticing. This is brand new. I'm not sure what model year model this is. But I can already tell that this is a lot smaller than my 36 pound thrust in both circumference and length. So that's interesting. But on this boat, it's going to be dual motors. So I kind of prefer that. Nothing else in the box. Cool, we got a handle here. Which I'm not gonna use. There it is. There's one of them. I'm gonna open the other one and I'm gonna go put it on my dory, my polywog. So, thanks for all of you that have continued to check in with me and say hi over the years. And if you haven't subscribed already, you probably aren't gonna, but if you're on the fence, you probably should. Anyways, here's the onward and upward. I'm really excited to show you what I got going on here. This is the boat I adopted a couple months ago or a month or so ago. And it's called a polywog. And it's a Sam Devlin designed stitch and glue boat that I did not make, but I'm going full American boat head on it and I'm going to power it and steer it with these two motors. These are brand new and that's not even the best part. I'll show you the best part. So you might be wondering why I have two motors instead of one. The coolest thing about this boat probably so far is in here. So come here, come here, come on. You see that? That's my control head. I'm gonna put a rocker panel on there with all the switches and gauges and battery diagnostics and whatnots. So as you can see, it's very comfortable. Especially when you consider normally my boats just have a wood floor and I sit right on it with no padding whatsoever. Sometimes a life jacket. But this is gonna be the best for women, children, old people. And now I have the creme de la creme, full, full bore head, turning port, turning starboard, whatever. So I'm going to have this right here 
as my control unit. I'm gonna have all my dials and switches, rocker panel. And it's gonna live right there, possibly with some cup holders or maybe cup holders over here. And then the cool part is I'll be able to slide it up there. This is how I can sleep in it. It's all the important parts are supported. I can put a pillow or something under my feet if I think I need it. Put a pillow right here for my head. And I sleep in the fetal position in my own house anyway, so it should work out great. Neat, right? And then I can get up, have a little room to set up a jet boil or something, maybe in here, make some coffee. Make a can of soup or something. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But then when I want to drive away, I'll pull this back and have it, you know, semi-attached in some cool way. And I'll drive off like that. Full bore. Back up. Spin around in circles. Spin around in circles the other way. Pretty neat, right? You're wondering what these are, aren't you? Well, about three years ago, somebody named Ned from New Zealand designed, 3D printed, and made these controllers. So there's a link in the description down below if you want to contact him. And he gave them to me for free, but he's not going to probably do that for you. But he might make them or sell you the plans. I don't know. He's a cool guy, so... He originally designed them to be this way. He said that you plug them in, battery power to here, motor power out, then go full forward and full back, and then stop in the center, and it'll go beep, 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 beep. Welcome, American Bowhead. No, it doesn't do that, but it'll turn them on, and they'll control each motor individually, and based on which direction I want to go, either push them both forward or lag one behind and I think that's downright neat neat right so that's what I got thanks for all the uh, comments I just want to give a shout out to all those people that comment on things that happened in the very last part of my videos you might not think I noticed but I do notice that that's basically saying comment plus hey I watched the whole thing I like that that's pretty neat because sometimes I put little treasures at the end of my videos hoping that uh, somebody stuck around long enough well better get back to work on this old thing <laughs> if you want to catch me on my journey and go camping with me and see a lot of close-up shots like this thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for being a friend da -da -da. Gosh darn it, go build a boat. What are you waiting for?